Agent Jones. It worked? Oh my... Ugh. Ugh. Well, if he's already dead, he won't mind. <laughs> Welcome back, my oodles and noodles. Two more Baldur's Gate 3. Let's not waste any time and jump into the recap, shall we? Okay, let me spin you a tail on what has transpired thus far. Over the last couple of episodes, we've been implanted with a mind flayer parasite. We've met up with a group of travelers who have a similar disposition to our own. We've ran into a group of refugees in Druid's Grove. We've saved a girl named Arabella, talked to a druid named Wrath, chastised another druid named Kaga, and met with a healer we thought could help named Neti. Neti actually <laughs> was very not apt to actually helping us out and instead found us worthy of information. She told us that there is another druid that is even more powerful than herself named Halzen. The only reason that we are helping the druid Halzen is is because one, he's gonna be able to help us out. And of course, two, he's going to be able to stop Kaga from completing the ritual. He's also been researching the parasite and he might be one of the few people who understands the condition entirely. His research suggested that the parasite is connected to a goblin camp located in an old temple of Saloon. And that's where we currently are. We've also met Volo, who's also a, <laughs> he's a man performing for the goblins under duress. We can also choose to rescue him, but that's kind of where we're at so far. Any other notable things I would say We've talked to Gale and we've talked to Astarian and both seem to be under very interesting conditions. Astarian is obviously a vampire and Gale is a wizard who needs to consume very rare, powerful artifacts to be able to survive. I would imagine that they have benefits to being in our party, but they also now have drawbacks to being in our party. We let Astarian drink from us and that's, you're all caught up. Congratulations. That's where we're at. <laughs> we are here to rescue the Halzen. Ain't no part in here. We're doing the absolutes work. <laughs> State your business. I think the absolute is what we're probably looking for. But you feel nothing in response. Your illithid power is beyond reach until you rest. Oh? Oh, I have to rest to be able to use my power more? There are certain things that this game is explaining, but there are so much that you have to do on your own that you have to figure out. Like, it didn't tell me that I could level up my party, and I just had to get your guys' information from that. And there's also certain in-game shortcuts that I didn't know existed either. So surprise, uh, I think that you're supposed to be able to use like the thieves tool kit uh, more easily as well. You guys let me know that in the comments. But Ill it is it Lithid's power, I didn't know was like a thing you had to keep uh, refreshed. I guess that should probably make, I guess that makes more sense. Our options are this, deception. I've got an audience with the one in charge. Intimidation, you don't need to know my business. Move, detect thoughts, probe her thoughts. They seem ready to attack, be the first one to strike. I have a feeling that this is going to go into a combat situation. I want to be able to use my surprise attack, but I also want to be able to get through this without any, because then we'll have to fight the whole camp, I think. Jesus Christ. Uh, Yeah, let's add a bonus to use guidance. All right, let's roll. Please, first roll of the day. Oh my God. Okay. We hit 15 exactly. That thank God. Well, you ain't the first foreign type, I suppose. Gonna have to be a bit more specific though. Oh, right? even more grueling. Absolute's got a few favorites around here. Hmm. You here to see Priestess Gut, Boss Raxlin, or the Drow? The drow. Why does the drow seem familiar? I'm here for Ragslin. I want to see Priestess Guts. I've got an obvious uh, audience with the drow. I am trying to remember all that I've learned so far. Do you guys remember Volo chanting? I think it's Hagslin. Ragslin. Because it wasn't the wasn't Volo singing about Ragslin and how he was so great. Ragslin. Well, look. Big Boots here has an appointment with Draw Ragslin himself. Throne room's at the back. Boom, baby. It's commune in mind. So step soft. Commune in mind. Okay. Charlatan, very important parasite. Astarian is inspired. Wow, look at that, guys. Saluna. As if mingling with a horde of goblins wasn't bad enough. Let's do what we have to do, then get out of here. Okay, I don't know why you had to stop me for this conversation. Not your usual haunt, I take it. You don't have to tell me twice. I wasn't intending to. 
Ooh, you are just rubbing me the wrong way. Guys, I'm a very upfront person. When I find somebody who's being unnecessarily difficult just for no reason other than to portray a stubborn persona, I get really frustrated because I try so hard to be open and honest that it's really frustrating to find somebody who isn't. Not that everybody has to be, but after, after some time, you can just stop being annoying, okay? So I'm really happy that we actually did that first try. I feel like if we didn't get through that door, we would have had to fight all of these goblins. The goal is to get our, the prisoners out safely. Save Arabella's parents? What? She immediately ran to her parents. Oh, she's not in here. Okay, for a second, I thought they were also in this building. I was like, oh my God. Rescue Volo. Yes, that's what we want. Okay, well now I'm confused because I thought that Halzen was in this building, but I guess we're here for Volo? I don't have a lot of time to record today because I have a wedding I'm going to. That's why I couldn't get the video out Saturday. I apologize. These videos take so, so long to edit. And I actually really love the way they come out. I hope you guys do too, but... God, they take so long. There are, there, this has been a fun project and I've actually really enjoyed like editing these because watching all of my stuff back, I realize some of the lore that I missed. I'm just gonna walk in here. Ooh, let's talk to her. She's slightly drunk. That's true. We should give in. Okay, so how are we gonna do this? I feel like she's the only one that can release this guy. I see. Do you have any plans for this pigeon? Does your bird have a name? Uh, so I see. Let's just, let's see. Let's, does your bird have a name? Um, Peach. <laughs> I see. Do you have plans for this pigeon? Keep him safe. Listen to him coo. Till I get hungry or some such. What's it to ya? That's a good plan. I was admiring him. I'd like one of my own. I hate to see so Um, I was admiring him. Then catch one on your own. The mark glows, but you feel nothing in response. Damn it. Your lithid power is beyond reach until you rest. That's fine. We can do this. Deception. He looks weak, sick even. He won't last long in there. I'm done talking. Open your cage or you'll be sorry. I have taken a shine to this one. How much do you want for him? Hmm. Trade? I can trade? Why does it give me an option to trade? What could I trade for Volo? Is that even a thing I could do? Uh, let's ask her how much. You, got me. I likes him. you do. <laughs> do you got? I think this is when we can persuade, right? Offer a bulging bag of fake gold. As much as you offer a fortune, offer a lord's ransom, um, offer a modest sum. I feel like the fake gold... <laughs> See, this is where I want to do it. Goblins are kind of dumb. So what if we offer bag of fake gold? Does she actually go and look at the gold or can we get away with it? Let's offer a modest sum. Pigeon's worth more than that. Time's a begonian. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's rogue. Rogue. Hey, I could buy a begonian pigeon with that much. Here's the key. Pigeon's all yours. It worked? It worked? At what point does she realize that we offered her a fake bag of gold? <laughs> Look at this. I'm quite saved. I guarantee the story of your daring rescue of my person will live on for eons. Uh, <laughs> and how will you be accomplishing that? I'm not looking for that sort of attention. Get yourself to safety and quick. You know what else lives for eons? Gold. You owe me. That is true. He would be dead. And just, uh, how will you be accomplishing that? Realm renowned author, author, and tastemaker at your service. Once I've written you into one of my books, there won't be a tavern in Faerun you can enter without receiving a hero's welcome. I like the sound of that. Carry, but I hate for our friendship to end here. Please, won't you meet me once we've both slipped the goblin yoke? A fine mess you landed yourself in. How'd you get caught? Slip the yoke. How do you intend to do that exactly? I'm not looking for extra company right now. Go on, go your way. I go mine. Go to my camp. We'll talk there once we're both safe. How do you intend to do that? An invisibility potion, my friend. Oh. A bit less refined than your mendacious method, but by God, it'll do the trick. Uh, let's just, uh, how'd you get caught? Why, by design, my friend. 
How better to learn the ways of a people than to live among them? So did he need saving? has proven most fruitful too. I'd be happy to share my findings once we've found somewhere safe to parley. Go to my camp. We'll talk there once we're both safe. Smashing! Soon, my friend. Soon we can share the flagon of something liquid and a tale of daring do. Daring do. See you soon, my friend. I simply can't wait to pick your brain. Fun. Did we add him as our party officially? That is awesome. Invisible. <laughs> All right. Are we going to get bagged on, though? Like, she's going to realize that was a fake bag of gold. I cannot believe that actually worked. Okay. So, is this who we need to talk to? I am so curious about everything that's going on let's save all right i already feel like we're doing so much Ooh, can i steal okay let's just talk to this guy uh abderak i don't think abderak is who we're looking for stop that <laughs> okay fine all right fine he, he seems agitated he's hiding but I mean, there's a door right there i'm curious to know if that door does something oh Poor lad. I could give you peace, you know. But no. You gotta keep silent, don't you? Where do they flee to, you stubborn rat? P please, stop. Here to see your friend, have ya? Come and join him if you like. I say we'll take over. His work is sloppy. He'll kill the prisoner too quickly. The mark glows. But you feel nothing in response. You're illithid. <laughs> All right, I get it. I'm weak right now. Why are you torturing him? This looks interesting. Let me put him through his paces. Deception, go have yourselves a drink. Your boss sent me to relieve you. I'm taking over. Your sloppy handiwork is going to kill the pr uh, prisoner. Uh, let's let me put him through his paces. I don't know about the... Let's do this one. Bloodthirsty, ain't ya? Go on in. Make him scream. No, please. Face the prisoner. Consider the implements provided. <gasps> then. Would you like to start begging for mercy now or smash the butt of the spear into his groin, press a red hot poker against his thigh, attack the goblins? Now, I really don't... Would um. I thought that if we took it from him then maybe the guy would leave i'm gonna ask would you like to start begging for mercy now or go die hell you got being soft ain't gonna make him talk smash a club into his knee rip off a toenail crank the rack and stretch him attack the goblins i don't know if i have the strength to do this I really thought that we were going to make the goblins go away. I thought I was putting on a performance. <laughs> well, I know how to make someone talk. Now, if it were just me, I know how I would interrogate a prisoner. And let me tell you, ripping off a toenail would do the trick. So let's do that. But I really don't want to, I don't want to hurt this guy. A story and approves. Oh my God. Oh my. Ugh. Ugh. Oh God, that was. That was so uh, to the east uh, past the ruins and uh, the bridge they covered the gate with ivy look at him you got him good okay and we got what we needed you weren't half bad for an halfling Drow will be happy when she hears it i feel so bad this. can i read these <laughs> I'm sorry, Liam. Man hangs slack from his chains, barely breathing. For a healing potion, yes, we have a lot of healing potions. I feel, I feel better about that. But his eyes shoot open, and the color returns to his cheeks. Get away, please, no more. I could have done way worse. I'm sorry. I only did it to help you. Help. Yet. You could have killed me. I pulled off a toenail. You're fine. Persuasion. It was the only way to get the goblins to leave. Absolutely. Easy. No bonus necessary. Just get these shackles off. You came looking for the night song, didn't you? The druid Halzen was with you. Where is he now? Hang on. I'll get you free. Uh, let's ask uh, the Halzen question. 
I don't know. He, he changed into a bear, but I, I, I lost sight of him. A, oh. I don't know if he's still alive. I actually know where I saw a bear. Uh, hang on, I'll get you free. Thank you. Let's do the rogue sleight of hand. Yeah, easy. Oh, get! <laughs> it really had to put me through the ringer on that one, huh? It's a good thing it was a low, uh, low chance of success, anyways, or high chance of success. And opens. I'm sorry, man. I didn't. I I feel like I did him a, a service, if I'm being honest. Thank you. I, I I better go before they catch us. I should be able to make it to the grove on my own. They need to know they're in danger. You came looking for the night song, didn't you? Yes. It should be here. So mm. They said there was a hidden passage underneath this temple. Damn it! I know exactly where that is. To be abandoned, but when we arrived. <sighs> what else do you know about the ten temple? Any treasure? Go on. Where can I go on? Where can I find the night song? I feel like the guy was literally well, just leave. Get out of here. Get out of here, friend. Oh, a jagged spear. Gale can absorb. Hell yeah. That was really cool. I I'm really having a good time. And I feel like I've done a lot of good in this goblin camp so far. Uh, let's save. <laughs> let's go find Halzen. I don't want to, I don't want to go on any further until I find Halzen, but I feel like I've done a, a lot of good. If we didn't pull off one of his toenails, then we would have had to beat the living crap out of him. And he wouldn't have liked that any better. So I feel like one piece of torture, one toenail for his freedom. Come on. I bet more people would let me pull their toenails off if it meant their freedom from a goblin camp, okay? Okay, I saw a bear over here. I think there's a bear over here. Wasn't there a bear over here? No. Interesting. So we're looking for a random bear. I am looking for a random bear. I am actually very confused. He says Halzen is somewhere here. Do I just keep having to ask around first? He turned himself into a bear and then he doesn't know where he went. Is he up here in the knotted roots area? Ooh, this looks promising. We've got some sleeping people. We've got, um, what is this? Nothing. Oh, wall is barely holding together. But if we attack the wall, will everybody wake up? I would imagine that they would. So if we use a fire spell, will it... 100% disadvantage. What if we use firebolt here? Immune to fire? My head's killing me. Ugh. What is that noise? Sorry. <laughs> but you feel no response. Okay, I get it. I use too much of my power. Persuasion, hush now, go back to sleep. I love this persuasion. It's so fun. I like to think that it, my character is very like, like in the world, I'm like, no worry, go back to sleep. You saw nothing. Happily. But the next noisy bastard that comes through here gets gutted. Okay, well then how do we get through this wall? Do we use somebody else's spell? Does it have to be a really powerful spell? Uh, it won't let me open this chest. Oh, here we go. I think we have to talk to people. I can't find ha Halzen, but he was supposed to be a bear. I don't know where this guy would be. Oh, is it this guy? Let's talk. Stupid dead bastard. Give him a good kicking. He deserves it. Oh, kick the corpse. What did he do to deserve it? Stop this. You're disrespecting the dead. Well, if he's already dead, he won't mind. Yeah, right. <laughs> You're all right. I'm getting so much brownie points. What did he do to deserve that? He killed my mum and dad. Made a bloody orphan of me. Oh. Holds hands with grief, even among goblins. Sorry for your loss. Maybe they had it come. Sorry for your loss. I ain't bothered about it. Better off without them. Stupid old geezers should have part more of a fight. Don't mean we can't enjoy putting the boot into this prick of stick, though. Well, so much for my previous sentence. <laughs>
<laughs> That's actually so funny. All right, what about this guy? Brawler Lance. I'm trying to see if a um if the bear, if we see any bears. Am I going about this all in the wrong way? I wonder. Also, thank you so much to those who recommended that I I can pick locks that way. That was also not something that was explained to me. Wow. A critical, I wish that it could give me something so fun if I critical success it. A uh, tracker, let's talk to a tracker. Meat ain't ready yet. Dwarves take an age to roast. Oh. Smells delicious, reminds me of my childhood. It's disgusting, it smells awful. Where did you find a dwarf? He found us. Don't know what he was doing here or where he came from. Lads inside are trying to get answers out of one of his mates. Oh no, that's so sad. Was one of his mates a druid? Druids are all beardy and woodsy, ain't they? This lot were a scabby gang of tomb robbers. Had a big old war bear with them, though. Took five of our meanest lashes to chain it up. We'll beat the fight out of it and make it one of our own. <laughs> oh, they have them. They have them, though. Can, I, I can get you answers. Where's the prisoner? Enjoy poking holes in people, do ya? <laughs> He's inside. Oh. Keep to the right. I already. Follow the screen. I already freed him. Okay. Tracker Klaga? Enjoying the view. Looking tasty in these new breaches, ain't I? <laughs> They're looking quite fetching on you. Tasty's not the word. Gruesome. They're just pants. Gruesome, maybe? Are you kidding? I look fantastic. <laughs> maybe they because I keep myself in shape. That is so funny. Like dwarf, what happened to the rest of him? The dwarf, did he have anything on him besides pants? Is the dwarf who tried to sneak the dwarf? Did he have anything on him besides the pants? Dunno. He was already stripped down to his breeches when I got my hands on him. I had a couple of coins in the pockets and some daft poem. But that's all. I love poetry. Can I see? I'll just take uh poetry. Sure you can. But a looks all you're getting. Okay. For all I know, this little roast that was some famous bard. And you'll be sending his last words for a pretty penny. That's true. Uh what's your price? Persuasion, you're wasting time. Do dwarven poetry is worthless. Roll dice. That does it. I love I love being so good at this. <laughs> really? Oh, shit. You might as well use it as bug roll then. <laughs> bug roll. <laughs> oh, uh received a door open the inventory to view. Oh my gosh, I remember. The the bandits that we talked to, they did say that one of uh, the people in their party had more information on him about the sh the artifact that they were looking for, but he didn't have it. I think I just found it. That's amazing. I didn't even know I was looking for that. But I feel like information is more important than gold in this game, and you have to prioritize that. The dwarf's poem is actually, in fact, worth a hundred gold. That's amazing. A, eul a eulogy for Selunite, or for a Selunite who died in the dark bellow. Notes about a door under the temple are written in the margins. A son of Saloon fell here in the dark below and we sealed his grave in our holy glow. May the full moon never touch the stars once more. May darkness never conquer a mood a moon maiden's door. A moon maiden's door. A note is scrawled in the margins. Found the door under the temple. Think the moon's turn, but which way? A cluster of stars and a lunar phases are sketched beneath. Find the night song. Ooh. I do want to find the night song, but I am literally so lost. Where is, where is this guy? Druids are shapeshifters. Is, is Halzen a chicken? Mm, I don't think so. I couldn't find housing outside. I'm gonna be honest. Wouldn't go in there. Lest you fancy blowing your bones all the way to Boulder's Gate. Jesus. That the jingle of coin I hear? Oh. You've timed it well, my friend. Hey, she looks familiar. Quite the prophet today. 
so I'm feeling generous. You recognize the crest she bears, the winged serpent of the Zentarim. Hmm. Oh, the Zentarim? Oh, no, Zentarim. No, that sounds right, because Zentarim is different. You're no normal trader, are you? Oh, no, it is the Zentarim. I've been spelling it wrong this whole time. I thought it was Zentarum. And the Zentarum are like, um, think of them as like, this is like a little D&D &D lore, I guess, but the Zentarum are, there, there's the Xanathar and the Zentarum. And the Zentarum are just another gang, supposedly. And the Xanathar, I think that's what the, the other one is. They're like, a, they do gang wars and stuff. So the Zentarum is actually part of the Black Network. As then is a normal trader, just a matter of what's for sale. Weapons and other exotic goods, true enough. But most of all, we offer discretion. No judgment, no right and wrong, just good deals and bad. That problem for you? No problem, let's see your wares. What business do you have in a goblin camp? Yeah, what are you doing here? You joking? Goblins sell the best prisoners. Cheap, quiet, and eager to be elsewhere. Oh. Well, this crowd converted and started sending their captives to Moonrise Towers, at least. No complaints, mine. I just sold enough smoke powder to cover the loss ten times over. Huh, it's it's slaves you're buying, not prisoners. What do the goblins want smoke powder for? What do they what do you know about the Moonrise Towers? So there's an awful lot of folk flowing that way. And coin is sure to follow. I have to find my faith and see this absolute for myself, eh? Oh. Still some deals to be done here, though. You want a trade or what? Yeah, let's see your wares, but I'm curious. I'm wondering if, like, Halzen went somewhere else. Oh, whoa. She's got some serious stuff on her. Okay. Well, I'm not sure. Is there someone in that cage? There is someone in that cage. I think I'm gonna have to explore more of the goblin camp in the next episode. We've done good, we've done some good. We've released some prisoners. We got, we got Volo out. Wait, who's this? Well, let's, let's do this real quick. Oh, what is that? Oh, I should have intervened sooner. Oh, um, yeah, you know, this place needs a little bit more love and attention. I don't think I have the time to do that. <laughs> it feels, it's so funny because when I play, I feel so immersed that I don't want to stop playing. And sometimes when I record for an hour, it feels like we didn't really do anything. But this game is all about the story and the cutscenes and the relationships between the characters that sometimes they get so caught up and have to realize that this was enough. This is a lot. We released Volo. We released uh, Liam. We did happen to send the goblins to the camp in the grove, but all is well. We'll save them. I, I, feel, I feel like we're going to save them. Haven't been able to find Halzen yet. So that's that's interesting. We've made a lot of headway with the goblins, though. I can't help but feel like I've gotten some good luck on my side. Persuasion helps, too. But if you guys did enjoy, don't forget to subscribe. So that way you guys don't miss out on any new videos that get released. I know that these videos tend to be longer, so I appreciate you guys sticking with this series, giving it a try, and that you're joining this adventure with me. I, I wouldn't have it any other way. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Mwah.